it sounds like a promo single. And I'm going to give a couple takeaways why I believe that is what it is. So first off, uh, production, it reminds me a lot of uh, ASAP Rocky on uh, testing. And it, it just, like, it's smooth. It's really good. It's kind of bizarre. Uh, at times, it's barren. It reminds me a lot of, uh, this is one of my other points, it reminds me a lot of winter. You know, this seems like a very wintry album. The tonality of it for the first, I'd say, three minutes, it's like a beat change-up. Uh, and it's not its not really, like, it's significant. Like, you can tell it, it's changed up, but it, the beat kind of slides on a scale throughout the entire, um, golly, shout-out to Baylor. Oh, my God. Um, slides on a scale throughout the entire project or this is the concept. So it's never, like, just one thing, right? But uh, the production reminded me a lot of A$AP Rocky and Tessin. Um, to go along with that point I was making, the Everslide production reminds me a lot of uh, Winter and a lot of specifically of The Ooze by King Cruel. When I first had the preview, the vocals reminded me a lot of that too. Kind of really muddy. Um, somehow muddy and dark and and, um, and like I said, barren, like like a, like a snow winter fall, um, like Greenland or something like that. But the vocals still come through clear. Like on that second half, after the beat kind of changes up, I mean, his vocals, his, it's so rough for Frank, but it still impacts, it punches. So I really like that. Uh, I don't think it's the same like kind of baritone that uh, King Crow does, but he does a good job of putting a lot of inflection and bass into it. So uh, going on from that, I don't think the lyrics really are going to mean much to a lot of people on here. Um... I guess the most significant part of him, like, speaking is uh, along the second half and then in the closing moments uh, where he kind of, not um, not um, acapella, but, like, the beat kind of, like, lessens, kind of slows down um, and gives him a little bit more impact on his voice at that point. But the first half is kind of just, like, some these changing vibe and just, you know, beat matching with him trying to set up. Set a vibe. I mean, I don't use the word vibe too much, but I mean that's really just the, the point that matters in this in the early going of this this um this song. And a lot of people did want more songwriting, Frank, uh, from Channel Orange and all that. If this song is any indicator, you're not getting that. Uh, it, this guy really reminded me a lot of Blonde at times, where it's just like what you're feeling is what's important, like kind of like self control. Um. I guess that was a strong songwriting track. Uh, it reminds me a lot of his post blonde tracks, where a lot of them were, you know, pretty simple song, but they just sounded great. They just made you feel something. So that just reminds me a lot of that. Um, and this is my main point that I really want to get across. So if you go over to iTunes, iTunes. Uh, so we have the cover art here, right? I could just pull up a picture of it. Like, I mean, I can just go back and be like, yeet, and I could go back one more. Ah, oh, damn, there it is right there. Hold on, it should pop up. Yeah, there we go. Um, okay, can we, yeah, there we go. So this is a little bit more zooming in. Uh, I saw one source that I just had pulled up on Twitter for the longest. I'm, I'll go back to it. That said that this album, this is one song of of 13, an album. Um, the album, I don't believe they said this would be entitled DHL, but I did see another individual on Reddit, um, the Blind in 08. Um, it's supposed to be a threat for Blind in 08, but it contains a lot of comments about this song and the album. I, I've lost that in the in particular post about the album. But anyway, that one said that the album also be titled DHL, which I don't think so. I don't think he named a single after the album as well. That's not something he's ever done in the past. I don't think he'll do it now. But, you know, I do believe that this could be a setup to an album. Uh, like I said, the outro to this track uh, leaves a lot to to be expected at this, that he's trailing in to an interlude or something like that. Um you know, make this outro lead up to an intro for another track. Uh, and then if you look at this, you know, the logo. So this particular cover art for this single matches that logo or figure at the bottom. And this, you know, specifically emblazoned or highlighted. 
so I could assume that each of these logos uh, represent a different concept or a different track from this album. And um, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. And we just, you know, going back to that tweet, uh, closing out on this. I don't want to see the the thought that happens on my uh, my explore feet on my home feet. So I don't know who this individual is. He could be anybody. I don't know. Uh, he said it's called DHL. Again, this dude could be losing his mind. I don't know who this guy is. Uh, I, it's not being broadcast on radio. We went, we went deep and found it. LOL. I'll deem the info I have right now. I can't share it publicly. Usually, when people say they can't share something publicly, that's a it's a bad sign, uh, a little bit of baiting, but you know who knows. Uh, so he pulled up the, this cover, which makes me kind of think he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's kind of just guessing, in my opinion. That's kind of what the vibe I get off of this. But he pulled up the cover. Maybe he does know something. I don't think he does, but maybe. Um, so hey, I mean, don't don't put on me if this isn't the album. But it, it looks like it could be, at the very least. It would make sense. So anyway, um, that's about it. Uh, I, I know a lot of people that are Frank fans, or stands, I should say, uh, from KTT, which I'm at right now, uh, were of the belief that, that Frank would be giving out another album this, this year, uh, this decade specifically. And this could very well be that. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed this little breakdown. Try not to make it too long, but... Go listen to the song. Uh, see for yourself how good it is. I think it's, I think it's solid. Definitely a good promo single. Uh, peace.